Good morning, everybody. I'm Sylvia Kvitinova, the EA administrator. And um, I have to apologize for having missed uh, the beginning of this roundtable due to my other duties at the EA desk. Um, I hope I won't uh, repeat anything that has been said already, uh, as my presentation is uh, really a technical one. Um, the EAA has had uh, its web page since uh, 1999. Uh, the current version that uh, uh, you see on the screen uh, has been in place uh, for three years now, and it's um, a powerful tool as uh, this month uh, we have received uh, 9,000 uh, people uh, seeing the web and requesting more than 30,000 uh, pages, which um, is um, in my eyes quite, quite a good performance and which will uh, surely improve uh, when we switch to uh, the new uh, EIA web page in IMS uh, in mid-September uh, this year. Uh, I'll show you uh, the online version uh, later on, but um, before that, uh, let me just uh, recap uh, quickly what IMS actually is. It is uh, an engagement uh, management system uh, that, allow, that allows uh, the EAA to interact with its members and uh, at the same time allows members to interact between themselves. <coughs> it's, it's a modular system. Uh, the three basic modules that the EAA uh, is uh, seeing to use are the membership module, the abstract submission management module, and the conference registration module. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have implemented the first uh, module, the membership module, and uh, here is what it can do for uh, EA members <coughs> and for the EA as organization. So members in IMS uh, will be able to manage their own profile, their um, membership payment history and their participation in the organization. They'll be able to engage in communities and interest groups and um, to search among their fellow members uh, based on different criteria, including um, professional details, affiliation, etc. And of course, they'll uh, be able to join uh, online and renew their membership. Um, what uh, is that the EAA will be able to do for members uh, in IMS? Uh, it will uh, allow us to differentiate uh, access uh, level to uh, content in three basic levels. Uh, <coughs> one for unlocked users, uh, the second for, for one for locked in members, and uh, it's possible as well to um, restrict access to some parts of the EA web in the sense of creating um, areas for um, defined groups of people, be it uh, the executive board, be it the nomination committee, or whatever other group uh, might request uh, that facility. Uh, the EA will be able to manage the membership database uh, and create real-time reports um, in terms of uh, membership statistics uh, that will be instantly uh, updated. And it will be able to better approach its members by uh, emailing and by interacting through uh, the social facilities included in, uh, in IMS. Now, uh, how do these facilities translate into the work of uh, EAA communities? Individual members uh, will be able to follow uh, a community of their interest or just uh, one component of it, be it blog, announcements, uh, whatever. Uh, members will uh, be able to participate in secure forums, uh, as I mentioned uh, a minute ago, in uh, the sense that um, a community or any other group will be able to request that uh, certain part of the EA web is only accessible to them. 
members will be able to uh, access uh, EIA or community library um, for all sorts of, of files. Uh, they'll be able to uh, cooperate on creating wiki entries or any other collective works. Uh, they'll uh, interact uh, in blogs um, of the individual mm -hmm. communities. Uh, they'll be able to uh, see members-only content and uh, search for fellow EIA or community members. And I'll show you in a while how that will work. The EIA as an organization uh, will be able to um, enhance uh, the role of uh, community uh, representatives in granting them uh, administration rights to moderate dis discussion uh, forums, update community web page content, add documents uh, and resources, moderate blogs, etc. Um, again, we can, uh, on request, create um, separate areas of the EA web accessible to a certain group, be it certain type mem uh, membership type or a predefined group or just uh, a few uh, named users. And uh, the EAA staff will be able to intervene in community uh, web pages if necessary. Now let's see uh, IMS Live. And I hope it works. <laughs> So this is uh, the new web page, EAA web page in IMS. Uh, as you can see, uh, the landing page, the home page, is uh, fairly simple, uh, with just welcome and, and two parts on conference news and TA news. Uh, and this is the screen that um, anyone could see. Um, if uh, a user is interested in communities and has not logged in, as, as is the case now, uh, he or she will see a list of communities and uh, whatever other information the EA wants to provide about the communities. Now, uh, this is the publicly available information about each community. I'll use uh, Anna Marie's example uh, because uh, she has done a good job in uh, personalizing this uh, their, their community map. So this is uh, the publicly uh, accessible information, which is identical to uh, what logged in users see. But uh, if uh, the user wants to uh, access uh, blogs or resource libraries, uh, they need to log in. So by clicking on the link, you'll be redirected to a login page. And I'll, um, I'll log in as, um, oh, as a sample member. Yeah. <clears throat> and the keyboard is different, so I hope I, huh. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. English keyboard. Second try. Okay, here we go. So, apart from the information that um, we have already seen, which is in the left hand uh, column, uh, the logged in member will be able to see announcements uh, and you see and very uh, up-to-date announcement posted by Anne-Marie. Uh, they'll be able to uh, see or add blog entries, and they'll be able to see documents. Uh, Anne-Marie has uh, very conveniently structured the, the resource library, so if you, if you click on uh, Working Party Meeting uh, Vilnius, you'll see uh, that she has already posted the agenda And you can either preview it or download whatever uh, is better. Now, uh, how could uh, Anna Marie do that? 
you might wonder. Um, I'm not logged in as Anna Marie, so I don't have uh, the authorization now. My test member doesn't have authorization to edit um, this uh, working party web page. But uh, as a logged in member, I do see um, the list of communities, including uh, the one we have just seen. And where I, Anna Marie, I would see this uh, edit button next to the uh, working party uh, entry. Now, my test member is entitled to manage uh, the executive board uh, web page, which is uh, a web restricted to uh, the executive board only. And you see that uh, there can be a lot of uh, facilities, uh, announcements, blogs, resource library. I haven't included uh, wikis or uh, Mm, yeah, I haven't included wikis, everything else is, is included. Um, so this is, this is um, the arena for um, the representative of a community to really um, update, update uh, the content and the layout as well. I'm able to uh, modify the layout of the web page uh, on individual requests. That's no problem. So I can include uh, more facilities or less facilities as desired. And uh, but otherwise, um, the community uh, communities are quite uh, independent from me if they wish so. But uh, in order for that, we need your engagement. So I would like to wish you good luck in your interaction with Imus. <laughs>